China is an ancient nation with more than 5,000 years of history and currently has 42 elements inscribed on UNESCO's representative list of intangible cultural heritage of humanity. I would like to take you on a journey through some of the Beijing special places and introduce to you a few of the intangible cultural experiences that the city has to offer. Hi, I'm Bora. I've been living in China for more than 11 years now. During this period, I was a Chinese language and culture student, a tour guide, a diplomat, and these days, tourism marketing expert at Dragon Trail International. And our first stop will be the Temple of Earth Park. We are now at, uh, at the park of the Temple of Earth. Uh, Temple of Earth was built in the 16th century in the Ming Dynasty. Park culture. It's very unique to China. I find those parks in, uh, in, in China a very good place to know more about uh, local culture and tradition and actually daily life of uh, Chinese people. People are quite friendly. If you go in the morning, maybe 6.30 a.m., you can find already people that come here and they can um, dance, they can practice Tai Chi Chuan, they can practice uh, Qigong, uh, they can write calligraphy on the ground, uh, they can sing, they can play a musical instrument. So basically it's like uh, a small universe within uh, different Chinese cities, like it's a microcosmos of wellness, I would say, and uh, healthy well-being. There are plenty of activities that one can experience in the park. Today we are going to focus on Tai Chi practice. Tai Chi Chuan practice, it's a Chinese traditional practice of, uh, you can say it's an internal martial art or physical exercise. Uh, tai Chi Chuan, it comes from the Tai Chi philosophy. Uh, I had experience uh, previously when I uh, studied in uh, in Xi'an, I had a chance to, to practice, to take uh, Tai Chi Chuan classes uh, every week with local, uh, with local students. And it's quite complicated and takes a long, long time to master those, uh, those different movements. Uh, but it's, it's very good for your body, for your state of mind, um, for, to find the balance. Uh, to improve immune system uh, and to work on uh, you know, your meridians uh, in your body. Tai Chi is being part of the China intangible heritage and part of the culture. You know, tai Chi was basically invented in uh, Henan province uh, in the uh, 19th century. The source of Tai Chi is the Tai Chi Chuan, is the Tai Chi philosophy. Okay, so it's like the combination of yin and yang. Um, uh, those forces that complete each other, right? Uh, so through Taiji, one person can also understand more about uh, this traditional Chinese philosophy. To continue the theme of personal health and well-being in China, I invite you to join me to visit a very unique place, which is all about various benefits of Chinese traditional medicine. We arrived to a very special place, also related to intangible heritage of China. Let's have a look inside. The feeling of this, uh, I can say it's, it's a concept store basically. The design of this place, it, it's very beautiful and it's, uh, I think it's unique and there are many details that uh, combine uh, modern uh, and traditional elements. It is a TCM museum. This is our world's largest 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 museum. Okay, 
到了一个不动的味道，浓浓的中草药的味道。对对对对对是一个 experience center。咱们这里边一般是针灸跟中药相结合。It is a place where you can enjoy food and drinks. There is a bakery here, which is for me, you know, a bakery is something Western. It's not Chinese. Or we see a, a coffee shop. And the coffee shop also, coffee it's uh, it's something uh, it's something Western because in China, according to my experience, uh, uh, basically Chinese culture is is related to tea. We will put a lot of Tongren Tang of some Yao Shi Tong Yuan's this Tian Ren Cao Wen, and to develop into this coffee to mix with coffee. Yao Shi Tong Yuan. That's, in my opinion, it, it's it's quite uh, unique and fascinating because um, I've been in China altogether more than 11 years, but it's the first time I see something like this, uh, a combination of um, Eastern and Western cultures mixed together. It is a mix. Mix of East and West. Mix of modernity and tradition, a combination of traditional Chinese medicine and the daily life. Intangible heritage is part of people's daily lives. Some of the traditional skills and techniques are passed from generation to generation. Our next stop is Beijing Historical Alleyways known as the Hudongs. Let's discover this hidden gem. Uh, Hudong for me, it's a very special place in Beijing in general. I currently also live in the Hudong, in the city center. I like a few things about Hudongs. First of all, you can actually um, experience, uh, I would say, traditional way of life uh, of local people. It's quiet, so you can hear the birds. Usually there is not much traffic, so they're either very narrow or just wide enough for one car to pass. It's a beautiful uh, way to experience Beijing uh, inside the second ring row. You can see also many elements in the Hutongs, right? So Hutongs were actually built in the Yuan Dynasty. And also looking at uh, how people live, it's also very authentic, which is, I think, for many, many visitors uh, from other countries when they come to Beijing and to China, they want to see not only the modern China, but also authentic and traditional China. And I think through the Hutongs, it's one of the ways uh, to experience this. Hi, Lo Shabao. Hi, Lana. How are you? Uh, you are well. Now we are ready to go. It looks it looks so basic and simple, but actually there's so many details uh, in 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 the process of creation, right? Uh, you have to be really careful and mindful to every small piece you do from the beginning until the end. So it's a process of uh, creation and uh, creative thinking. Mm -hmm. That this material is actually uh, also part of uh, you know something that evolved in China through uh, many many years of history. History is the oldest 在我们北京庙会这边呢，其实就是民间的工艺品，然后大家在庙会上就可以去购买到的。其实非遗的面塑，它也是中国人共同的一个记忆。
after chatting with Miss Peng, our sculpture master, and my personal hands-on experience, I realized how challenging it is and that there are many skills required in order to be successful. It's actually uh, not only something that uh, you know part of the intangible heritage of China, but it's also something that uh, kids can do uh, as as a, as a game. Those sculpture makes use of everyday common materials, making this craft close to people's daily lives and a great way for visitors to experience traditional Chinese culture. After folk arts and craft experience, I am on my way to Jingtai, the famous enamel factory at the central part of Beijing, a place that revives an ancient art that once was endorsed and appreciated by Chinese emperors. Let's see how it has been produced these days by local craftsmen. Hello, 非常欢迎您到我们这儿来体验我们的景泰兰的这种工艺 The history of Chinese cloisonné begins with Yuan Dynasty. It is believed that back then a cloisonné technique was brought to China by merchants from the Middle East. 元朝的时期景泰兰传入到我们这儿来但是它没有掐丝掐丝是我们的发明到了明朝这景泰兰呢是一个发展期发展成熟期 we are going now to check out the enamel museum that located here. The museum exhibits some of the finest objects that were created by local craftsmen and customized for official events and occasions. It looks so so simple when I see the final result. It looks very colorful, very very delicate. Um, but to understand that this process takes so many stages to accomplish, uh, that was quite a surprise for me. I didn't think it in this way. Mm. The process of creation of Chinese cloisonné requires a teamwork, while each one of the arts is responsible for different part, such as base hammering, enamel filling, enamel firing, polishing and gilding. It was the first time experience for me to create uh, Chinese cloisonné or to try to experience it. And it was uh, quite complicated to be honest. Uh, but it was, it was quite exciting in a way that uh, there are many things involved in this process. Now I have a chance to have a hands-on experience. So painting, uh, bending, um, drawing, uh, all those things, and obviously I did only one part of it, but there are more parts to be accomplished in, in like uh, by professionals. So as an experience, I think it's, it's a very, very valuable experience, especially for those who come to China. Uh, maybe they like this art, because basically it's also art and craft, Chinese traditional art and craft. So I think it's worth to come here and spend maybe one or two or three hours and uh, either to look around, uh, to look at the museum or to go to the, and participate in the workshop with uh, one of the teachers here. Tai Chi, TCM, Dou Sculpture and Chinese Cloisonné, all of them are just a glimpse into abundant Chinese intangible cultural heritage. I invite you all to experience it by yourself on your next trip to China.